Welcome to rigorous training in longitudinal data science. Radiance. Welcome to this Radiance presentation on Trusted Research Environments. This session covers the following. What is a Trusted Research Environment, or TRE? Why are TREs important? What do we need to know about TREs? And how can this knowledge be used in practice? In recent years, the concept of a Trusted Research Environment, or TRE, has become established. The simplest way to think about this is that a TRE represents an ICT or computing environment which securely stores research data, but which can in addition allow researchers to analyse the data without removing them from the TRE. This means that as well as having control and an audit trail around the data themselves, it is possible to identify, authenticate and authorise specific users to be able to access specific data sets and tools, usually by managing workspaces where teams of researchers can collaborate on a specific data set or research project. There are also a whole range of additional features or capabilities that some TREs may have to make it easier to catalogue the data that are available, perform searches, manage data sets and design studies, as well as a range of analytical tools. Because of this wide range of capabilities, however, one of the issues at the moment with TREs is that this term means different things to different organisations and there is no standard of what is required to use the term TRE. Whilst many organisations are now looking to develop and use TREs, Health Data Research UK, HDR UK, have done a significant amount of work on trying to define the main requirements and functions of a TRE, including the rationale for their use, and specifically how using a TRE can support best data practices via the five SAFEs framework of safe people, safe projects, safe settings, safe data, and safe outputs. There are many factors driving the use of TREs, but broadly speaking, these all address the problems that are associated with the traditional approach to healthcare data research, in which the individual researcher or research team hold the data on local computers with minimal use of interoperable standards and analysis approaches. This raises significant problems from an information governance perspective, but in addition, with public concerns regarding the use of health data, having the safeguard of the structure of a TRE allows organisations to provide assurances regarding the security and privacy of the data. In addition, it is increasingly recognised that healthcare data achieve maximum benefit for patients and the system when the data can be potentially used for multiple purposes and when collaboration can take place across multiple organisations or groups, particularly where there is no need for data sharing, but rather where federated analysis is carried out. This can only be achieved using TREs. The concept of making healthcare data, and in fact all research data, more useful is encompassed within the FAIR principles. The FAIR principles have now been accepted internationally and are increasingly being required by funders such as NIHR in the UK for funding future research projects. FAIR, in this context, means managing research data in a way that makes them findable accessible, interoperable, and reusable. This in large part is related to using open standards for the data themselves and for metadata regarding the data set and research study. Whilst TREs address many of the issues with the traditional approach to research data management, it should be recognized that there are limitations with TRE use, particularly at the present time while they are still being developed. For example, there are no clear standards for what is required for a TRE 
or how they should be interoperable, and much work is ongoing to try and establish such standardization. Furthermore, Whilst current TREs generally work well for particular types of structured data, they are not necessarily suitable for all datasets. In order to standardize the pipelines required for data engineering and analysis, by definition, each TRE will have some limitation on the specific pieces of software or tools that can be used, many of which may not be well known to researchers. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, it is increasingly recognised that research data management and data engineering require significant skills, and establishing, running and managing a TRE require a dedicated team of staff, which is not generally available in many organisations. You should now have a good understanding of what a TRE is and the advantages and limitations of using a TRE for health data research. By using the tools available and aligning with best practices within a TRE, future research studies can be more efficient for researchers, whilst also achieving the requirements of the FAIR principles and the five SAFEs. Use of TREs should therefore be considered when setting up any future research study regardless of whether or not this uses data from within the TRE itself. From a practical perspective, increasing numbers of research funds are requiring much more detailed research data management sections in grant applications, and it is highly likely that for many types of research, a TRE is useful and may become mandatory in order to achieve funding. In summary, TREs represent an organisational infrastructure to store and manage data and perform data analysis in a secure, auditable, reproducible and interoperable way, hence providing assurance for good data management practice and allowing demonstration of support for the FAIR principles and the five SAFEs. There are significant benefits, both for the individual researchers and for organisations from using appropriate TREs, but it should be recognised that, whilst addressing many issues, simply using a TRE does not address all of the research data management issues, and data management plans are still required. For more information on trusted research environments, please look at the TRE service for England at NHS Digital, the aligning approach to TREs at the UK Health Data Research Alliance, the website on TREs at HDR UK, and the what and why of TREs at understanding patient data. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit our website www.radiance.org.uk Thank you.